Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome to a video on how to mine your own cryptocurrency. And I know there's plenty of these around, but I'd like to show um, in my own way, I think the one that I found that works best for me, uh, I've tried a few of them. Um, the I think the second best one I tried was Minergate. That wasn't too bad, but I make way more money on NiceHash. I think everybody does. Um, so what you want to do, if you want to try and mine your own cryptocurrency, or at least get paid to do so, uh, you want to go to NiceHash.com, and then you're going to click on Sell. Sell your computing power. And uh, most likely, if you're watching this video, um, you're just going to earn with your CPU or GPU. Uh, an ASIC machine is uh, like an ant miner, um, and they're extremely expensive, but they... Um, but they mine very quickly, and of course, you likely do not have your own rig farm. So you're gonna click on a CPU or GPU, and then download. And then it's gonna give you a choice between NVIDIA or AMD, depending on whatever graphics card you have. Um, and then NiceHash Miner Legacy is also something that I will get into as well. I have both, and I like to use both, but I think I will leave NiceHash Legacy um, for a different video. So once you get that downloaded and installed, essentially you get this right here. And uh, so far I've only earned about $21 in, um, in Bitcoin, which is uh, eh, not a lot, but uh, it's moving along, I suppose. And first thing that you need to do is uh, check out your hardware details. I have two uh, 980s and uh, 5820k processor and what you have to do is you have to benchmark them um, so you'll click on benchmark and you'll want to do it quick standard or precise uh, precise is probably best um, it'll get you just um, the best algorithms uh, standard is probably okay um, but I don't need to benchmark it takes a while when you do it um, the, the longer one you do um, or the better one you do the longer it takes so precise actually takes quite a while so you might as well like get up and like maybe go to the store or something like that because it, it, it takes a, a, a decent bit of time. And then you can see that uh, usually CPUs just have this one crypto night and then your GPUs will have a ton of different uh, algorithms that they can crunch out. Um, and so NiceHash, basically uh, half the people are buying hashing power. You can go on NiceHash and you can buy hashing power. And then the other half of the people are selling their computer out as hashing power, which is basically what I am doing. Um, so you have to set up your wallet. So you're gonna click on your wallet and uh, send it to that. And mine actually goes to my GDAX wallet or Coinbase wallet. Um, and don't change that wallet. Remember that wallet because if this wall, if I were to click on this wallet and then change the wallet uh, to a different um, to any different wallet code uh this will be lost until i put that old wallet code back in and then this will be regained okay so that's a huge thing to remember um just write down your wallet somewhere and then just in case you mess that up and you change that um and uh for nvidia users you usually want to enable p0 state um and it require it, it uh, basically enables i think the highest power state of your video cards um you can also uh alter the config files and such, but I've found very little reason to do that. Make sure you change your service location. Mine is usually set to, um, like initially set to Amsterdam. So I just picked uh, San Jose. You can also set a minimum income um, per day and your computer will only work when it can meet that income. And you'll see in a second here, um, another thing that I really recommend you do uh, before you begin mining with NiceHash is go ahead and on Steam, I think, I, I don't even think you actually need Steam for it, but on Steam, you can just download this. It's called EVGA and it will um, show your graphics cards. I think my boy is in the background there, so don't mind him. And uh, what you want to do, what I found to do is me messing with these power, the temp targets, None of it really worked for me. Here's what worked for me. Is it just change the curve, set, set it to a, a profile. So I got it set to a profile here. Change the curve of your, um, where did my curve go? Okay, here we go. So set the curve for both of your graphics cards um, 
like this so that just before it reaches 80 degrees um, you turn on your highest fan that's what i have it at uh, my, my graphics cards just run hot i see i see a lot of people online with like much cooler graphics cards mine just plain run hot um and i have trouble cooling them for the most part uh it's not dusty i got a nice fan on it um but uh who knows um so i set mine up so that my fan would actually start kicking on pretty extreme uh early and then that'll prevent your your gpu from going over the temperature because you will see um that it will quickly heat up your GPU. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. So we have my CPU and my two GPUs will start working. So we don't really need that. I'm gonna just click that away. Minimize it rather. Um, so my daily estimated earnings, earnings is uh, $2.46 essentially. Uh, once you get to 0 0.01 Bitcoin, if you're sending it to an external wallet like myself, I'm sending it to GDAX. So I, it requires that I mine 0 0.01 Bitcoin uh, before it will send it to GDAX. And then when it's on GDAX, I can actually start trading it and day trading it and uh, making a, you know, a few bucks here and there with it. Yeah, I think my boy's having a good time. But uh, anyway... So it's not too fast. So I have two G GTX 980s. Um, maybe if you have 1080s, it'd, be, it'd definitely be faster. Um, some people put like four graphics cards. They'll get a riser and they'll just keep stacking graphics cards um, and it makes it faster. The best way to do it is basically with uh, an, an, an ant miner, um, like the S9 ant miner uh, will work much, much faster, probably um, 15 or $17 a day, something like that, maybe, maybe 20, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, they would work much, much faster than your PC would. Um, and as you can see, my, my computer's already getting pretty hot, um, 66. Uh, it will reach to about 79, 80, um, and that's when the fan curve goes to 100%, and it will keep it there. Um, so obviously, I don't want to get to too high, and then if I set the temp target too low, um, it will actually prioritize um, and really lower my uh, my clock speed to, uh, to to match that low temperature. So I, I, I found that the best way to do it was just really just pump up your fan curve, um, make it turn on all the way. So that is about it. So once you get that, um, that 0 0.01 Bitcoin, it will send it over. Uh, if, if you have a, a nice hash wallet, it actually sends uh, much sooner. But um, uh, then there's a fee to remove it from the nice hash wallet anyway so just use an external wallet um once a week at 0 0.01 bitcoin uh it will send um but if you have just a regular pc you're not going to meet that once a week it's going to take you um upwards of a month maybe 20 uh 25 days of, of pure running and i don't keep mine running uh 24 7 i'll just maybe turn it on when i go to sleep <clears throat> and uh and just let it run overnight and usually during the day, it'll slow you down a little bit. So right now, my my GPUs are mining Equihash at uh, such and such speed, and Crypto Knight at 164. Um, Legacy Miner is a little bit faster for uh, uh, NVIDIA users, I've heard, and I did try it, and it is a little bit faster. I would normally be mining at uh, about um, Equ with Equihash probably uh, 610, 620. Um, and it is a little bit more. It's about 20 cents more uh, a day with Legacy. And I'll, I'll show you guys that in a different video. I don't really want to get into it just yet. What I do want to get into is, well, great. So you're making money. But the problem is, is um, does it cost more than uh, your electricity bill? And likely, um, this is costing me more than uh, on my electricity bill that I'm actually making. Um, I live in Arizona, and so my uh, my power bill actually goes down in the winter months a lot. Um, it goes to like I think 8.3 cents per megawatt, like 7.8 at the lowest time. Um, so it continues to drop, and then in the summer, it, it everybody's running AC units to basically live because you would die. <laughs> um, so the the pa the price of power increases. So as I get closer and closer to winter, actually, this is. Um, uh, starting to become a bit more and more efficient. But the thing is, too, that you have to understand is even if it costs you a few extra dollars on your electric bill, um, you can you can take and turn, because 0.001 Bitcoin, when I send that out, will be about, um, uh, well, a hundredth of a Bitcoin right now would be about $43, $44, somewhere around there. 
So that's forty three or forty four dollars that I can actually trade around and uh, make you know a, you know a few cents here and there, maybe even a dollar if it was a, it was it was a really good day or something. And, and trade it around and continue to make that money. And then when I get more and more Bitcoin, as I, as I pump it in from uh, the bank account or whatever, or other profits, uh, they kind of stack on top of each other. So that's something you also have to take into consideration that I don't see a lot of people um, actually take into consideration. They just say, hey, like your electric bill, it's gonna be too much. Uh, but also if you're a good day trader, you can turn that money um, into an ever increasing amount um, as long as you're as you're good about it, of course. So nice hash miner, really way to go. Uh, miner gate is another miner, but I don't recommend it so much. You can mine your own uh, currency, but I, I I really just like nice hash because it will mine uh, the optimal algorithm at the time. So this equa hash will actually switch from time to time, and uh, sometimes it'll be uh, I don't even remember the names of the other ones, but it will switch around. And uh, certain algorithms, you'll actually notice, like I can, I can just, I can freely move my computer right now. There's, there's very little lag, even though I'm using basically all of my uh, GPUs. Um, and then if it'll switch an algorithm, um, sometimes that particular algorithm that it switches to uh, will really lag your computer, and um, you'll have these big frame lags all over the place. Uh, and so some of the algorithms kind of destroy your computer temporarily. And uh, once in a while, I'll just turn it off if it's doing that, if I'm just, because uh, um, I can have it running during the day if I'm just maybe just sitting around watching a YouTube video or doing this or that, I can have it running. But uh, if you're going to be playing a video game, definitely not. Um, and, and in the middle of the night, that's fine too. Just let it run. Uh, but just make sure you have EVGA to control your temperature. You don't want your temperature of your GPU to get out of control. Right now, it's not too bad. Um, this one is 80 degrees because this is my first one. And I think that one gets hotter because it's, it's sandwiched um, behind the other graphics card. And my second graphics card is actually cooler um, just because I think it has uh, better airflow. I'm not really sure entirely, but uh, pretty sure that's the reason. So this one will stay at 80, and it really won't get any higher than that because the fan is maxed. Um, as you can see, even EVGA doesn't like it too much. But 80 is fine. Uh, if you got 90, uh, it can still run, but don't let you don't don't let it get over 80. Um, it's just not good. Um, a graphics card can run at 90 or 95 C uh, for quite a while. But uh, I would not recommend it. That's just way too hot. It's, it's way too damaging on the components. So uh, 80 and below. As it, the, actually, the coolest you can get it is, is, is the best. So um, I hope you guys happy mining. Just go ahead and go to Nas Nice Hash and mine away. And uh, like I said, I ship my wallet. Uh, I ship my coin off to uh, Coinbase and GDAX so that I can just immediately trade it. Um, and make money on it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below and I'd love to answer them or even make a video um, on it if it is a good enough question that uh, would warrant such a video. But uh, I will see you guys next time and happy mining.